Today we will see how we can set up Salesforce connector in application integration. So you will have a Salesforce instance and you will want to access the information in Salesforce like opportunities, accounts, or maybe set up a change data capture from Salesforce. So you need a Salesforce connector to be set up. And this we are going to do first in Salesforce. We need to do some prerequisite which we have to set up like creating a private key or a X509 certificate which will be set up in Salesforce then create a connected app in Salesforce and then do a prior approval of the client app and then we will create a Salesforce connection in application integration where we will use the client ID and the certificate which we have set up on Salesforce and then use the associated user ID. So let's get started with creating a private key and X509 certificate that we will be using in Salesforce to set up our connected app. So what I'm doing, I'm in my cloud console. You can use your own command prompt or anything else, but uh, I'm going to use cloud console because it comes inbuilt with OpenSSL installed. If you do not have install an OpenSSL binary on your command prompt, and then you can follow along with the commands in the GitHub repository where I will give all the commands as well. So the first command which we want to do is OpenSSL generate RSA out private key. But before that, I want to create a temporary folder where I will be storing everything. So let's create that. Now I'm going to type the command open SSL generate RSA So I have a private key created. Now let's create a public key. Open SSL hyphen new hyphen X509 hyphen key private key dot prem hyphen out public key dot cer hyphen days let's put 3650 I'm going to leave everything empty and if I do ls I have a private key and public key ready now you can download this uh private and public key by clicking on three dots on your cloud console and from there give the folder name where you have created your keys so in my case it will be sftc hyphen connection and then i will click on download and get all the files now i have downloaded both private key and public key. Now we are going to make use of this. So let's move on to Salesforce. Now in Salesforce, I am in my administrative console gear icon and click on setup, which will bring you to this administrative console. So this is where I'm going to create an app and that is a connected app. So let's click on app manager, new connected app, create a new connected app, click on continue. Let's give it a name. Now here, click on enable OAuth settings. In the callback URL, I'm going to give HTTPS OAuth debugger.com slash debug. This is an online debugger, which you can use. And now the next thing we have to do is use digital signature. And this is where we are going to upload our file. And we are going to upload our public file. So now I am uploading my public file, which we created in previous step. 
click on this public key.cr in the scopes we need to provide some uh, scope for this so i am going to choose that so one is to manage user data via apis i'm going to add this and then perform request at any time to refresh token or offline access click on save click on continue it takes 10 minutes for the app to get ready now click on this manage consumer details and copy the consumer key and secret now the third step is that we need to do a prior approval of the client app and this needs to be performed once per salesforce user or profile there and this will be a back-end administrative approval action and if you don't perform this step uh, we will get an error in application integration which will give error something like invalid grant or error description uh, will come up something as user hasn't approved this consumer so let's pretend to be an admin and approve this app or the consumer to access a specific user's data associated with a specific profile. So now go to tools, apps and connected apps and manage connected apps and click and edit your app. So I'm already there. So if you're not, then click on edit. And here in the permitted users, select admin approved users are pre-authorized. Click on OK and then save. Now we need to associate a user to this app. So here what we have to do, we need to associate the app which we have created with our user. To do this, I'm going to use a platform user which I have created previously. This is nothing special about this user itself. It is a standard user with standard Salesforce license. I can go to this profile and associate the app. Now here we have to give access to this profile for the connected app which we created. So let's put it in edit mode and then do that. Scroll down to connected apps or you can also search here. Click on connected app integration and then save. Now this profile is associated with the user and that user will give access to our app which we have created. Now let's go back to application integration and set up our in connector. Now I am in application integration connector setup. I'm going to click on create new, select a region. Click next. Select Salesforce. Give it a connection name. You can enable cloud logging. I'm going to leave it for now. In the destination, you do not have to give any login URL. It is going to use default HTTPS login Salesforce. This is where we are going to select OAuth 2.0 JWT bearer flow. Now this is where we need to give our connected app consumer key which you would have copied in the previous step and now this is where we need to create a private key and this private key has to be provided as a secret so let's create that Here is the value which you have to give and you have to give the whole private key certificate which we created. So let's copy that and put it here. So I have opened the certificate in a text editor. Copy the whole thing starting from private uh, begin private key to end private key. Copy this, paste it into your secret value. Select a region for your secret because I am creating in Europe West 2 I will create secret there you can create it multiple places depending on if you want to create other connectors to this Salesforce in other region you can create your secret now itself or at later point click on create secret now the secret is created I just realized I gave it consumer key at wrong place 
let's correct this and this is the username of the account which we had used in salesforce to associate that app this one so i'm going to copy this go to my username give this and also i will give grant to the newly created secret key for the private key which we created so click on grant leave this enable authorization override click on next now this is the setup we have done europe west 2 salesforce our name and oauth jwt bearer token created an app got the consumer key and also got the private certificate which we installed and the user account which is associated with it click on create now wait for this to get ready now our connection is getting ready so what application integration is do doing behind the scene is setting up infrastructure for your salesforce connector and then it will connect to your salesforce using the information which we provided and then finally it will refresh the schema and then as a quick test we will test and uh, and create a quick integration to see if we are able to fetch information from this salesforce connector or not so now our connector is ready it became in active state so let's create a very quick integration to test if we are able to fetch information from our salesforce connector let's create an integration i will add an api trigger to trigger our integration the important part is the connector let's drop that and let's configure this i'm going to select the connector which we created freelance sftc connection go to entities click next and go to accounts and select an operation of list click next connect these two Let's give it a quick test. Our integration was successful. And we got response out of our Salesforce connector, which was able to fetch the information out of our Salesforce using the connector which we just created. Thank you.